Welcome to a basic guide to understanding our reservation system. You can manage your reservations using two different formats. The first is the reservation calendar, which you can access using the first red icon in the top left part of your screen. This is a color-coded overview of your reservations. The colors represent the status of each reservation, which we'll cover in our next video manual. The second is the reservation list, which you can access using the second icon. This provides a complete list of your reservations, including canceled reservations. Let's start with the calendar. The vertical axis displays room numbers and each room's capacity. The horizontal axis displays the date. Today's date is highlighted in yellow. Navigating the reservation calendar is simple, and there are multiple ways to do it. You can use the bar at the bottom of your screen to scroll through reservations, or you can use the date section at the top by using the mini calendar or entering a specific date. The arrows let you move one day or one month into the future or past. To get back to today, click here. Searching full text is another option. You can search by guest name, company name, or reservation number, and the corresponding reservation will be displayed and highlighted. The last option is by clicking on a reservation in the dashboard section to the right part of your screen. This will also bring up and highlight your reservation. The dashboard is a useful tool as it shows you multiple things, like new online reservations from third parties like Booking.com, expiring options, which is a reservation status, that shows you issues that need your immediate attention, waiting list, another reservation status, which shows you reservations that have not yet been put into the calendar, and also today's departures and arrivals. If you don't want to use the dashboard, you can hide it to get a wider view of the calendar. Another thing you need to know about the reservation calendar is the option of having multiple smaller calendars inside the calendar. You can customize the criteria for these smaller calendars, so you can see only triple rooms, the rooms on a certain floor, only sauna rooms, etc. You can quickly switch between them by clicking and add a new one with this button. The button above displays room availability, with fully booked rooms marked in red. Another thing you will notice is the notification bar at the top. Notifications will pop up if there is an error with your price list, or if new updates become available. The last thing you should note on the calendar is that by clicking on a room number, you can change the status of the room. You can also assign rooms to housekeeping or maintenance, and they can report defects and inspection updates in real time using the app. The rest of the buttons will be explained in our second video, which focuses on creating and editing new reservations. Now back to our second format, our reservation list which shows all reservations, including canceled ones. On the left side of the screen are your reservation filters, which you can hide using this arrow. These let you filter or search your reservations using different criteria. Searching full text is the same as the calendar. Search by name, company, reservation number, etc. With date filter, you can search for five different criteria on a specific date or range of dates. The lightning bolt offers you quick search options, like last month, last year, etc. The room filter narrows your search to only one room, and currency filter lets you specify only one or a few currencies. You can also narrow your search by reservation status, payment status, and other more specific options. Once you set your filters, click search and reservations that meet your criteria will be displayed to the right. Using the icons to the right, each reservation can be edited, deleted, or you can see this reservation in the calendar. The list of filtered reservations can be exported to PDF or XLS file, which contains more detailed information. That covers the basic information about the reservation calendar and reservation list. We will cover them in more detail in later video manuals. Thank you for joining us.